on our way to Peanut Island on a boat. Only way to get there. The great adventure starts soon. Happy 4th of July. And yes, welcome to Peanut Island Park. Let's do some exploring. Roadies, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. Many thanks for being here. We are on Peanut Island. It's an island right off the coast of Palm Beach County. This is a county park. It's about 80 acres and it's got a plethora of things to do. And we're gonna explore. I've never been here before. It's only accessible um, through boat, by a boat. So I don't. we don't have a boat, so we took a ferry over here. And um, if you have a boat or jet ski, you can pull right up. And there's snorkeling, there's all kinds of things here. And you and I are gonna do some exploring and then do some swimming and have some fun. Thanks again for being here. Let's explore Peanut Park. Peanut Island, Peanut Park. And straight ahead is the one of the ferries we took in right there, in the middle of your screen, coming in. They come in um, nine to five. The first one comes in at nine. The last one leaves out at five o'clock. Check out some of the beauty here. Um, inside the island is a lagoon. As you see streaming in from the inlet here. And it goes all the way inside of there. So you got a lagoon, you have water on all sides, obviously because of the island. And it's just stunning beauty. And here are some non-native species there. Some iguanas, I don't know if you can see it right there. Look at these iguanas. They do not belong here. They are not native of Florida, but they're here now. This one's a big one. And when it gets cold in Florida, the few days, weeks, whatever, a year it gets cold, especially down here in South Florida, the iguanas actually freeze up and they'll fall from the trees and they're kind of like a comatose state until they warm up from the sun. There's a whole bunch going here. Let me see if I can turn it around and show you guys. Look at all of them. It's crazy because they are not native to here. And there's another one of the ferries right there. Uh, the company we use has two ferries and there's the other one. And they pretty consistent back and forth, back and forth, about 50 people per boat. And it's about $15 a person. Boat ride was maybe 15 minutes. So the name Peanut Island is because it was going to be used as a terminal to ship peanut oil from here and uh, I guess across the nation. Um, but that those plans never came to fruition. So we're kind of in a port here, and I'll show you the port in a second. And there you see the port over there. <laughs> There's a cruise ship around the corner. It's pretty cool out here. It's neat. And just beyond the fence right there is a decommissioned uh, Coast Guard station. It was decommissioned in the late 90s. And unfortunately, we are fenced out. But further back behind there, there's an old Cold War relic back there. It's a JFK bunker. They actually have a bunker here um, during the Cuban Missile Crisis. It was for uh, President John F. Kennedy if he's going to stay here. During that time, he evacuate or go to that shelter or bunker but unfortunately in 2017 Hurricane Irma came through and ruined it all and you can't go back there no more they're talking about they being the Palm Beach County uh, commissioners are trying to get things reopened and back to towards again I wish we can go back there but I don't see any way back there and unfortunately um, I'll have Michael put some pictures in here but other than that this is about as close we're going to get to that bunker but this is a decommissioned Coast Guard station I really wanted to show you guys that bunker but unfortunately I don't see any way in and I don't trespass so I'm gonna walk around the perimeter see if there's any other gates that are open the person uh, that took us here in the ferry boat said there might be a gate open and they don't have a problem if you go in the gates open but the gates locked they don't want you in there so man it's the picture I seen online look really cool it's got all presidential stuff and um, canned goods and water and stuff, you know, for like, you know, a nuclear war, basically, nuclear war bunker. So, unfortunately, but I'll keep checking. Stay tuned. And from what I read and was told, it was the bunker built into this berm right here, and they're on the side of the berm, and on the other side of that berm, basically, it's built into the bunker built into there. So, uh, as you see, it's fence, it's barbed wire. And I don't think we're ha it's not happening today. Another thing to mention about the island, if you ever come here, um, they have plenty of restrooms. They're nice and clean, showers. So um, there's plenty of amenities here when you get here. 
and I've walked more to the perimeter and I, all I keep finding is fences, but they're all locked. But then again, there again is the, the berm where it's, uh, the bunker is built into. It's so cool on the island here. It's so neat. A little bit of Cold War history. Unfortunately, we can't get any much closer. Check out some of these beautiful homes over there. Just across the... I guess it's the bay, because it looks like further out that way is the Atlantic Ocean. Hey, it's Cameron. Look at Cameron swim. So the family is doing some snorkeling. I'm going to double back and put them after, but let me go check out what else is to do on the island and see. So come on with me. Let's do some more exploring. We can swim after, of course. It's early. And they do have covered pavilions here uh, with some barbecue stands. So not a lot, but there's a, I've seen a handful so far. Another thing I have you can do here is a campground. campground. There's camp rules here. You can go camp in here. And this section here is all behind this gate is, is blocked off or section for camping. As you see some tents already. I don't camp much or at all. <laughs> if I mean much, I mean at all, but there's an option to camp here if you like. And right here's a quick, quick tour map of the island. Um, talks about the name, about the shipping of peanut oil and how the name stuck. And it shows you the Coast Guard um, area and stuff, but it doesn't talk about the bunker, the JFK bunker, which is back here. So one of the nice park staff members told me that um, basically um, there's construction going on there and also the bunker is basically in a disarray, termites, uh, rats, it's uh, pretty bad. So that's the reason why uh, no one's gonna be uh, going into the bunker and they got it fenced off. And since he said even employees can't go back here, back there un until they fix it up and clean it up. So um, he said, you see any gates, they're all gonna be locked. So uh, we're done for exploring for that. But let me show you some other parts where I can find here. Cause there's some really cool, neat stuff here around here and they also have a scenic walkway here and you have the um, lagoon on one side here we're in the interior part of the island and of course there's the back side of the bunker again back there I don't know if you can see it there yep right there um, but I'm walking it's nice and peaceful and a lot of nature sounds and a lot of beauty I'm, I'm kind of in, in inland on the island right now see the problem with the iguanas is, is not being native here. I don't have a problem with them personally, obviously, but they mess up the ecosystem. Um, they obviously came here from pets. They got too big, too large, multiplied, and they moved on and they put out in the nature and they multiply apparently like iguanas. Same problem we have in the Everglades with the pythons. It's just not a native species here and it messes up the ecosystem, but they look real pretty. This one's a big one too. So according to my unscientific official, unofficial GPS, I'm on the back side of the island here. And um, <clears throat> it took about 20 minutes to get over here. And I'm just taking a mandatory union break. So we'll keep moving in a second. So straight ahead across the channel right there, that was the service that we use, the boat service. There's still people over there. I see a really long line. I don't know if they're letting them in or not, um, but you could technically swim. It's not really that far. I don't highly recommend it. And also here is a port where the uh, Margaritaville of the sea, Jimmy Buffett's cruise right there. I heard it's two for one. You buy one, take your partner with you. So I don't know how true that is, but. And we are getting on the back side of the island. This is where we came from and we went across the other side. They took us across the other side where the docks are at. So I've made it all the way around across the island, the interior part. There's a really nice walking trail and I'm back to the uh, decommissioned Coast Guard station. And over to my left here, or not but right beyond that dumpster is where that bunker is at there's the proposed project elements they're gonna replace the docks here restoration of the, of the Coast Guard and boathouse museum restoration of the Kennedy bunker for tours really cool and it's saying like 2023 24 and 25 and then there's everything I'll talk about so there's a Coast Guard station and then there's the bunker Wrong, wrong timing, unfortunately. But we're gonna enjoy the rest of this place. Nothing says Fourth of July more than the First Lady's homemade Rice Krispie Fourth of July Rice Krispie. Happy Independence Day, y'all.
Alright, check this out. The tugboat's coming in. We're going to pull it in. And we got Palm Beach County Sheriff's to make sure everything is running nice and orderly. Sweet gig that is. And they bring new meaning to delivery. You got pizza. You're hungry. There you go. Look at that beauty right there. Bet you that costs a pretty penny. Enjoy Peanut Island, it's a slice of paradise. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up here at Peanut Island. If you're ever in the South Florida area, particularly the West Palm Beach area, I recommend checking this place out. In a couple years, you're gonna see a presidential Cold War bunker. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. If you haven't, please subscribe. And as always, Rody, take care, be safe. Until next time.